Hello and welcome to Daily Tech Video. In this episode, we are going to see the follow-up of iOS 14.4. It's been a week since Apple released it and many have installed it, updated to the latest version. I have asked my audience in my another YouTube channel, which is a regional language channel, how the performance overall in terms of apps and battery when it comes to the iOS 14.4 in their iPhone. And they, many have responded, almost 130 plus comments I have received uh, for the recent polls I've conducted. So I'm going to translate those uh, Tamil language comments for you and I'm also going to suggest a couple of troubleshooting steps if you're facing any apps related crash problems or I actually faced heating issues with my iPad Pro 2020 model so I fixed it so I'm going to suggest some troubleshooting steps for that if you're facing the similar problem you can try that and uh, you can you know make the iOS 14.4 uh, experience very good on your iPhone or iPad in the polls I have given three options one is good bad and no change in same performance for iPhone is first generation three people have said it is good and one have said it is bad and for iPhone SE 2020 model which released last year uh, one people have said good and uh, no one have said it is bad it looks like it's it's kind of good so many have said uh, six people have said uh, no change and same performance just like iOS 14.3 and for 6s two people have said bad and uh, three people have said no change for iPhone 6s plus one people have said good and same performance uh, you know one people so you know it's same performance is more like uh, it is okay because if it is bad they they would have selected the bad option and iphone 7 uh, two people have said it is good and one uh, two people have said bad and five people have said same performance for 7 plus 8 and 8 plus uh, there are no uh, issues it seems so people are kind of finding the ios 14.4 much stable and uh, it, the performance is more like the 14.3 for iphone 10 three people have said bad and four people have said good so the same performance it comes to three people and 10r it's kind of uh, you know a huge number of users using 10R and iPhone 11 uh, in my audience crowd so um, th so 12 people have said it is good and only one people have said it is bad and same performance five people 10S and 10S Max seems to be good uh, so there are no uh, negative feedback for that and iPhone 11 10 people have said good and three people have said bad and same performance 12 people so just like 14.3 th there seems to be no issues and uh, iPhone 11 Pro 11 Pro Max and 12 all the latest iPhone models you know except the 12 mini people are kind of feeling it okay and good enough for their everyday usage so for the latest models we can see many people have said it is bad because even i personally faced a couple of issues with my iphone 12 pro a uh, few apps crashes and blank page issues when uh, i tried to uh, make a payment in google pay uh, app and even the facebook app started to throw some blank pages when i tried to navigate between the pages so i had to perform the all settings reset ones and i had to update the facebook app which you know since then uh, almost three days i'm not facing the problem so that really helped for me in uh, for the apps related blank page issue so i think many latest model iphone users like iphone 11 pro 11 pro max and 12 12 pro max all these people are facing similar to performance related issues if it is a battery related problem that many people normally face after updating to the ios latest version do perform the all settings reset once you know that is the best troubleshooting step that i, I have seen and personally i have experienced that fixed most of the problems related to apps crash and uh, you know battery related issues after updating to the iOS 14.4 you can simply go to the iPhone settings general reset and then select reset all settings don't select erase and reset just select reset all settings you know and it will prompt you for removal of the eSIM whether you want to remove it or not select no because if you removed it then you need to visit the uh, mobile carrier service provider and once again you need to configure the sim number to your eSIM on your iphone so that will become very complicated so just perform the reset all settings so let's quickly see the users comments like how they are feeling after updating to the ios 14.4 in their iphone so se 2020 same performance battery health seems to be 95 percent after five months usage which is pretty normal 100 percent battery 14.3 to 14.4 no difference no issue and third comment uh, he said like there is no difference uh, it's just same as before and the next comment he have actually said he's using iPhone SE first generation and the battery health is at 69 percentage and after updating to the 14.4 he is able to continuously use with the mobile data on for two hours plus so there is no uh, such problems it seems so it is kind of an excellent update for iPhone SE first generation and I personally feel that the 69 percent battery health is kind of crazy uh, because Apple recommends changing 
the battery uh, once it reaches 80% of battery health. So if there are any issues, people can use it, you know, less than 80%, even it goes less than 80%. It is absolutely not a problem. It entirely depends on individual's usage. If you are facing any peak performance issues while using the multiple applications continuously or while gaming, then you need to change the battery at Apple Service Center. Otherwise, you don't have to change it. Let it go below 80%. It entirely depends on individual's usage is what I'm saying. And no change noticed. Same as previous, 14.3, great. Battery health, 93%. Almost it's been one year and 22 days since he have purchased it. And the battery backup after 14.4 is same as 14.3 update is what he's saying. But overall usage time, the screen on time seems to be reduced compared to the iOS 13 is what he is actually mentioning in the next line. Several features have been added to the iOS 14. I would recommend you to consider take control of the location services first. You know, that is important. You can find iOS 14 battery saving tips uh, when you search in YouTube. So in that, you need to take control of the location services, which apps are allowed to use in the background, uh, the GPS uh, service. Give it a try and that will definitely help. And the next one is uh, I have updated in Tenar uh, better than 14.3. Battery backup was good even in mobile data. So it seems like he's using hotspot a lot and uh, the hotspot bug is still there. I have also provided a tutorial on how to temporarily fix the iPhone hotspot problem. I will leave a link to the tutorial in the description of this video. If you also face the similar problem connecting hotspot with your laptop or computer, then you can try that tutorial to temporarily fix that hotspot issue with the iPhone. And the next one is battery health percentage is 100% drains very faster uh, in this version than previous versions very unsatisfied airpods pro connectivity also having problems with this latest update so i would recommend you to consider you know all settings reset performing all settings reset once and for airpods pro connectivity you need to reset the airpods first and then try to pair it after performing the all settings reset in your iphone that will definitely help and overall you can see that the performance is so far good and many uh, people have said there is no change it, it just works similar to the iOS 14.3 so it is absolutely you know good to go with the iOS 14.4 update uh, as far as I, I have understood and observed if you are facing any battery related draining issues or apps crashing issues make sure you have updated the applications from the app store to the latest version I hope the suggestions I have given in this video helped you if you find it useful don't forget to share it with your friends and for more iPhone iPad and Mac related tutorials and apps and suggestions don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching have a wonderful day